a ship that just got shot down by the Eternity Vault's defenses. So they're forced to take escape pods to the surface. Now the Eternity Vault is an ancient alien prison in which the, you know, the greatest threats in the galaxy are contained, old ancient ones, including the greatest force wielder seen in 20,000 years. Now if he was to get out, then it'd be a threat to the Empire and Republic alike. So they're here to stop him before he fully awakens. I hear them enter my domain. Children unknowing, they will serve. So they've landed across the hostile surface. <laughs> Well, that's not exactly the co-op action I was talking about, but that's cool, killing the Tauntaun. So they're jumping right into it. They're focusing their hatred, loading their weapons. The Juggernaut's leading the charge. This guy's heavily armored. He's got a lightsaber in one hand, and he uses the force to deflect damage with the other. So his job's gonna be to keep as much of the damage focused on him as possible. And they've, hurt the, they've hit the first line of defense here, which is a bunch of droids and two massive turrets. Now, of course, the Juggernaut can't weather the onslaught forever. So we've got an agent operative acting as medic, applying some med packs from a distance. The turrets, though, are aiming at various different members of the team. So the Sith Inquisitor over there is helping out, helping numb their minds from the pain, and also offering up some force shields. Well, those turrets got to be taken out because they can't last forever. So we've got the bounty hunters over there. We've got one over there, the power tech. Advanced prototype. He's got a bag of tricks, much like Jenga Fett. He's got grappling hooks he can pull enemies in. He's got jetpacks he can get into range. He's got EMPs. So he's working on that there. The other bounty hunter, a different specialization, mercenary, arsenal specialization, all about doing damage. Has missiles, iconic Boba Fett, death from above move going on there. She's attacking the vulnerable points in the turret. And they got it down. Good job, team. All right. Now, so they can shift some of their resources from defenses to offense to get ahead of these droids that keep landing. And so we've got the Sith Assassin. He's, uh, he's double-bladed, wielding a dual-wielded, or double-bladed lightsaber, rather. Much like Darth Maul. And he's got force pulls, so he can help pull them into range and gather them up. Looks like the Juggernaut's doing a good job with it there. And the Agent Operative can call in an orbital strike when they're all gathered like that. He radioed it in. If there's anything left, the Sith Inquisitor can finish it up with a Force Lightning. Now, their journey has led them here. The choices they've made have given them these different specializations, and this is only a fraction of the specializations players can have that come to bear here. And we've got the other turret, the last turret they're on. They've got the Lethal Marauder there, wielding a lightsaber in both hands. She can Force Leap, throw lightsabers, and get into range. A vicious, a vicious... Vicious damage dealer. My finest creation, machine of machines. Metal enemies welded together and allied toward destruction. So the challenges have only begun, and this is the second line of defense coming up. So the juggernaut and assassin jump in there. This guy is Annihilation Droid XRR-3, formerly used to wipe out civilization. It's reprogrammed to help contain the Eternity Vault. And he packs a punch. I have been armed with 24 distinct weapons technologies. All right, the team's been doing good, but it looks like some of them are getting defeated now, so we'll call it there. But good job, team, getting to the second line. All right. And with that, we're going to show you some other combat gameplay seen farther in the Eternity Vault. Thank you.